Hey everybody, Nathan Nelson here, and well, today I just wanna to talk to you about backdrops, particularly that one. It's here and it is so, so pretty. My very own custom painted backdrop. Now, I've wanted one of these for as long as I can remember. I know there are a lot of companies out there that make these sort of mass produced, sort of kind of look like canvas backdrop options, but I didn't want anything like that. I wanted something that was very specific to me, something that essentially wasn't mimicked by anyone else. And so I reached out to Unique Backdrops in Serbia and the entire process of, of getting this thing was amazing. Now, I'm gonna flat out right now just say that this is in no way a paid advertisement. They are not paying me to talk about this at all. You guys just like to reach out to me and ask me about the different products that I use. So I thought I'd make this short video about this specific backdrop, being that I'm not the type of guy that gets excited about backdrops. But this one, this one I've been waiting for for a long time. So I'm gonna walk you guys through a little bit of what makes it unique, if you will, and uh, how it was customized specifically for me and what it is that I chose and the different options that are available for this kind of thing if it's something that you're looking into. Well, the first thing that I noticed about this backdrop when I pulled it out was just how incredibly thick the canvas is. It is, it is not a cheap material in any way. It is super heavy, designed to last for essentially as long as canvas can possibly last. And the way that it's going to continually wear is just going to make the backdrop look better and better and better as time goes on. And that was one of the things when I ordered this backdrop. I didn't want it to look out of the box like this pristine, kind of never been used backdrop. I wanted it to have that wear. I wanted it to, to have that aged look to it. So what they did was they actually created all of these little creases, these missing parts in the paint that give it that look that it's been around for a long, long time. Now I'm a huge proponent of shooting on Thunder Gray. Savage Thunder Gray paper backdrops have been my go-to for, for years. There's something about that color that makes everything pop. You can color grade it easy. It looks good both in black and white and color. So when I was talking to Unique Backdrops about the backdrop, I wanted it to have that same aesthetic. So what they did is they went through their paint samples. They actually actually found one that matched the Thunder Gray perfectly. And then from there, it was just a matter of picking out my texture. Now for myself, I wanted a medium texture, something that you know held the shape but had very soft edges. I wanted it to almost have that like bokeh feel to it but without feeling it, like you know, you're not seeing the shape in the backdrop, kind of that happy medium. And they, they knocked it out of the park. It's absolutely perfect. I just find that that texture really transitions well. It, it offers a lot of, ability for whether you're shooting right up against the backdrop or you're putting a little bit of space between that and your subject. Both ways, it, it just looks amazing. Now also with that whole thunder gray aspect to the color, I can use this and I can color grade it. So if I'm shooting in color or if I'm shooting in black and white, both ways that this backdrop, it, it just translates so well. It's not designed specifically for one type of photography. And because of the gray, I can use it for a variety of different things, a variety of different clothing styles, a variety of different portrait subjects, all things that just make this such a universal backdrop, which is exactly what I wanted. So for any of you that are looking for an amazing backdrop, check out Unique Backdrops. I'll put their description in the link below. I myself, mine is a 10 foot by 13 foot. It's, uh, it's amazing in the terms of being able to fit one person or multiple people onto the backdrop. I will probably in the future end up getting another five foot or six foot wide backdrop that's a little bit more portable. This one for being in the studio is amazing, but when you wanna take it onto location can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Strictly a size thing, but uh, yeah, I highly recommend go check them out, say hi, tell them I sent you. I don't know if that'll do anything, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys again very, very soon. Shh.